Hi right, everyone, welcome back to Cody's Lab. So today we're working with the vacuum chamber again. You can see I've got the camera in there along with a little blasting cap. Now currently the chamber is not under pressure or negative pressure I should say. So this is a control run at atmospheric pressure and uh, we're going to see how it sounds. And I set off an explosion inside the chamber. So here it goes. A little blasting cap went off. Got pieces of the plastic all over the place. Let's turn this camera off. All right, let's go review the footage. Okay, so I just vacuumed the chamber down to approximately 500 millitor, so it's almost a vacuum in there. Now let's set it off. So you heard a little bit of a pop. Let's see how it looked on the cameras. So the explosion in the vacuum still made some noise. In fact, it sounded very similar to what it did at atmospheric pressure. The hypothesis is that the gases produced by the explosion were able to travel over and collide with the diaphragm inside the microphone on the camera. And so what I've done now is I put the camera inside of a plastic bag. The plastic bag has a little hole in it so it can leak air and uh, not explode, but that plastic should provide a barrier between the gases produced by the explosion and the camera. So, let's set it off and see if it's any sort of difference. Okay, chambers vacuumed down. Let's fire off the explosive and see what happens. All right, that was interesting. Let's check that camera now. So I may have just vacuum packed my camera. <laughs> uh, whoops. I'm sure it'll be fine. So the bag did seem to block most of the sound. You mainly heard the bag crunching around the camera. So I decided to try one more experiment with the blasting cap inside of a 2 liter bottle. Now the 2 liter bottle has a little bit of a hole so it's not going to capture all of the gas but it should definitely provide a barrier. So let's uh, set up and let's uh, fire it off. See if that blocks any more of the sound. Recording on everything. Looks like it actually put a hole in the bottle. That's interesting. So for my tests, it appears that an explosion in space would actually make sound. Something like a bell ringing that does not produce any gas, however, would not. This is because the gas produced by the explosion actually travels to you, or to the observer, like little tiny bullets or shrapnel from an explosion. They are not slowed down by anything, so the gas particles can come in, slam into your spacecraft, and you can hear a thud from the gas hitting your spaceship. The sound will sound different, of course, but it still makes a sound. Now, I did a test with the plastic bag around the camera, and you could actually see in my video that the gas molecules hitting the plastic actually shove the plastic in a little bit. 
but it did block most of the sound. Now when I tried the experiment again, but instead of a plastic bag around the camera, I used a, a bottle around the explosion, the explosive just ripped right through the bottle. Now I honestly expected the explosion to be weakened by the fact that there was no air. You know, there's now somewhere for the gas to expand to, but that didn't seem to be really the case. It seems that instead of needing a medium to push against for the shockwave to travel through and then crash against something to destroy it. It seemed that the gas produced from the explosion just traveled straight to the target and shredded the bottle. So explosions in space act differently, but they still produce sound and they still uh, damage nearby objects. So, hope you all enjoyed. I'll see you next time. Gordon.